What is up everybody? Welcome to the new year. 1-1-2016. One, one, so good luck writing all that down on a piece of paper. You're all going to mess up and say 1-1-15. One, one, I'm going to do it, most likely, tomorrow, but whatever. Alright, so today I drove back from Southern California. I hung out with my family for New Year's, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, it was really fun. I haven't seen my family in a couple months. So it was definitely good seeing everybody. My mom, my dad, my sister, and some of my other family from Tijuana as well came up and hung out with us. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so on my drive over here, I wanted to say I achieved something. I don't know if it's a good achievement or, I mean, I don't know if it's an achievement. So one thing I did today while I was driving up here, my car has hit 250,000 miles. It's a lot, it's a lot of miles. So, I don't know why, but every time you see those numbers like line up, like two, five, zero, 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 you know, all the zeros, it's, it's just something you have to like take into consideration. Like that's, that's pretty cool that you caught it, you know? And one thing, it may sound dumb while I'm talking about this, but one reason why I wanted to bring this up is because today for my video, I want to talk about my car. So a couple years back, I took a picture of my mileage and it said two zero 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 zero. So it was 200,000 miles on the dot. So I took a picture, bam, right there. And that was almost four years ago, about four years ago, or I don't know, but it was a while back. And let me tell you guys a little bit about my car. So for those of you who have not seen my car, this is what it looks like. So my car is a Honda Civic 94. Yeah, that's the color. I don't want to tell you what color it is. You guys should just assume. I've been telling people it's maroonish, so burgundy, yeah. So that's the color I've been telling people. But this is what it looked like when I first got it. And this car has been actually in our family for like almost 10 years now. Holy crap, now that I think about it. Uh, so yeah, uh, this was actually going to be given to my sister, but uh, it's a stick shift and she did not want to learn how to drive stick shift. I don't know why. Uh, so she never took it. So this was collecting dust in our garage for four to five years, uh, for a while. and. My car, I started driving it, or this car, I started driving it uh, in college when I was back home in SoCal, and that was my car. You know, I, I took it everywhere, and I went to work with it, went to school with it, I drove everywhere with it. So, besides that, uh, here are a couple things that I did with my car. So, as you can see, I have chrome rims. By the way, those are 18 inch chrome rims. I had 18 inch chrome rims, and every time I drove or hit a speed or not a, hit a bump or whatever, <laughs> that's all you heard because it's my tire scraping on, uh, you know, the the lining whatever inside of my inside of my wheel well. So yeah, uh, decided that eh, maybe 18 inch rims aren't the best way to go. Uh, so for a while I had those. I just had not, I don't know what to do with them, so I just had them. Uh, a couple of things though, I do have awesome little cousins that did clean my car for me, which is pretty funny because they, I forgot what I told them, but I was like, hey, you guys can help me wash my car. I think I was babysitting them or something, and then I was cleaning, I was washing my car, and I happened to get them to help me wash my car, which is pretty cool. <laughs> but some things I did do to my car though, I was able to put a roof rack on it. So. Roof rack on top of my car, and it's for my bike. So it's two rails. I mean, I only have one bike, but it's two rails. Why not? Uh, and then that's one thing I did do to my car, which I really like. I still have it now, and it's actually still pretty cool. Uh, I do use it. I have a bike that I do put up there, so I do use it myself. And uh, cool thing about bike racks, it's not just for bikes. So this next picture, I have a whole ton of recycle. So this is a bunch of recycle that I had from my old apartment and I don't know how many years of this recycle was, but it was a ton of it. So this is what it looks like on top of my car. And this was all the stuff that was stuffed in my car. So all these bags of trash, or it was not trash, recycle and everything else like that. We took it out and just laid it right there next to my car and yeah, there's a whole bunch of bottles and everything there. That was, I don't know how we fit it all in there, but yeah. So other than that, uh, a lot of those things on my car 
Again, hitting 250,000 miles is pretty crazy. Uh, for my car, I haven't had it for that long, and again, it feels like it doesn't feel like that long, but I've had it for a while. And yeah, I mean, looking looking at it now, it's gotten me from point A to point B to everywhere everywhere else. So super awesome. I love that car. Um, I mean, I have a lot of stuff to work on it. I mean, I'm leaking oil and some other things. <laughs> Uh, but one thing I wanted to talk about, reason why I want to talk about my car today, just because uh, that 250,000 mile mark is pretty crazy. You know, when you think about it, it's, you know, cars go through a lot. And it's always good to maintain your cars, which I always do. I do oil changes, I do all this stuff like that, which is really good. So, more of this vlog for today. Treat your car right and your car will take care of you. So, for that milestone, 250,000 miles for my car, pretty crazy. Uh, Let's hope for another 250,000 miles. Uh, other than that, I thought that's going to be it for my video today. It's going to be very, very short and sweet for day one of 2016. Uh, hopefully, it's not too much for you guys, not too overwhelming. But that's going to be it for today's video. I'm super tired, by the way. I drove, again, from SoCal all the way here. Plus, I had my dog Rex with me in the car. And he actually did well. He slept through the drive. Uh, so that wasn't too bad. Uh, I'm glad he did that because the way to SoCal was really bad. Up here, perfect. He slept the entire time. Uh, other than that though, everybody, thank you very much for watching today's vlog. Very short. I know, a little bit different. But we'll be going back to our other normal scheduled vlogs tomorrow, I think. Yeah, go back tomorrow. Uh, but that's going to be it though, everybody. Thank you again for watching. I hope everybody enjoyed their first day of 2016 and have a good one. Goodbye, everybody.